Every public official that I know believes that his election is in the public interest. And mostly you're right. Your election is in the public interest. And if a president does something which he believes will help him get elected in the public interest, that cannot be the kind of quid pro quo that results in impeachment. All right, that was from President Trump's impeachment trial. It actually has now sparked a $300 million lawsuit from Alan Dershowitz against CNN. And it didn't stop there. Let's watch just a minute more of that coverage. I think to get back to the Dershowitz statement, which to me is outrageous and remarkable. It's in the most absurd theory I've ever heard. Having worked in about a dozen campaigns, there is always the sense that, boy, if we win, it's better for the country. But that doesn't give you license to commit crimes. All right, well, CNN's motion to dismiss the libel suit has been denied, and the case is set to move forward. Harvard Law professor and author of The Case Against the New Censorship, Alan Dershowitz joins us next. Professor, always good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. As you know, the thrust of my argument, both uh, in my major speech in the Senate and in answer to a question by Senator Cruz, was the distinction. If the president does anything that's unlawful, illegal, illegal, unlawful, he can be impeached. But if all he does is something that's lawful in an effort to get reelected, which he believes is in the public interest, he can't be impeached. So the distinction I made was between lawful conduct and political conduct. What CNN did was doctored the tape. It took out the words unlawful. It took out the words illegal. And then it had its commentators say, oh, my God, Dershowitz says the president can do things that are unlawful or illegal. And the judge saw right through that and ruled that the case goes forward to a deposition now. Now I get a chance to depose Jeff Zucker, the other leaders at CNN, and question them as to why they doctored the tape, why they took out the words unlawful and illegal. We know why they did it. They did it in order to make me look foolish. Uh, to make me say oh, the opposite. But, but here's, here's, here's the thing that, that, that I don't get, and this is why it's so fun to have you on about your own case. Uh, where's that line between free speech and, and CNN claiming that they're covered under the fair report privilege, right? They're going to say, hey, I mean, look, I've been you know, demeaned by CNN millions of times, but I didn't know I had a right to sue. So where's the line? Well, they're entitled to say, as one of the commentators said, that what I said was like Stalin and Hitler. That's a matter of opinion. They're not entitled to say that I said a president can do something unlawful and illegal and still not be impeached. That's exactly the opposite of what I said. In fact, CNN, the day before, criticized me for saying, oh, the president has to commit an illegal act in order to be impeached. No, no, no. President can be impeached even for things that are not illegal. So they, they criticized me for saying it has to be illegal. They knew that my position was that the president has to do something unlawful or illegal. Then they doctored the tape and they took out the words unlawful and illegal in order deliberately to convey the impression that I thought the president could engage in illegal and unlawful conduct and still not be impeached. Exactly the opposite of what I said. So to get the fair reporting privilege, you have to fairly report what was said by the person. And the court said, no, it was not a fair report. They changed my words. They took out the words unlawful and illegal. And so they don't get the First Amendment benefit. Look, I was one of the law clerks that wrote uh, a concurring opinion in New York Times versus Sullivan. I have litigated some of the most important First Amendment cases in the 20th century, I worked on the Pentagon Papers case, the Hare case, the I Am Curious Yellow case. I know the First Amendment. I love the First Amendment. But the First Amendment is not designed to give CNN a license to tamper with tapes, to lie, and to have their commentators get on television and say black is white and white is black, knowing that I think a president can be impeached for illegal conduct, saying Dershowitz says a president can't be impeached even president commits unlawful conduct. That they can't get away with. So I'm really anxiously looking forward to an opportunity to depose CNN. This will be the first time this has ever happened. And I think CNN is probably quaking in their boots. 
Um, we have demanded that they not destroy any uh, documents, any memos. We want to get the editors uh, who told them to edit the tape. We want to get the commentators who instructed them to say that I believe that a president can be impeached for illegal conduct. This wasn't just something that happened spontaneously. This came from the top down, and we're going to prove it, and they're going to regret having uh, distorted the truth in this way. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the interesting thing is I don't have a lot of time here left, but you think of someone like Donald Trump. Um, they took his words out of context all the time. So does your case allow precedent for someone like Donald Trump to sue CNN as well? Well, my case involves me. It's specific to my facts, but it will create a general law. And the general law will be that you can't totally distort a recording to deliberately make the person say the opposite of what he said and then have commentators come on and attack him for saying something he didn't say. That's exactly what they did. And it was part of a plan. It was not just an accident. And we have proof of that. The proof is the first time they put it on the air, they put the entire statement on the air, the statement including you know, illegal and unlawful, and none of the commentators were able to criticize me at that point because if they dared to criticize me, with the viewers having seen that I said unlawful and illegal, they would look like fools. So they doctored the tape, uh, put on a different presentation, made believe I didn't say unlawful and illegal, denied the viewers the right to see that, and then had their commentators say Dershowitz said black when he said white, Dershowitz said white when he said black. All of this will come out during discovery. And so we're thrilled that we have an opportunity to go forward to discovery. Well, just, just I, I want to warn you to be careful when you do this because their hosts and their commentators and their analysts look foolish every day. So you've got to distinguish between how they look foolish every day and in your particular in, uh, instance there. So I appreciate it. I'm really excited to see how this case goes down, and I hope you'll come back and give us updates. Happy to do that. Thank you so much. You have always treated me fairly, um, and the network has always treated me fairly. They have never doctored my tapes, and they have never had me say the opposite. And I think it's a very important to have Newsmax next to CNN to show what a real news network can do as distinguished from a network that is prepared to distort the facts to satisfy their own agenda. I agree. Well, hopefully you and Nick Salmon can take your hundreds of millions of dollars and go have fun at some point. Uh, once again, the book is called The Case Against New Censorship. Alan Dershowitz, Keep us informed. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.